Hey everyone, it's Oli, and today I wanted to talk you through how to build some dynamic titles into your dashboards. This is super useful if you're in a situation where you have a bunch of filters and you want to make it really clear to everyone what filters are in play, um, especially when there's like one dominant filter and then a bunch of sub filters. So for instance, in this dashboard, we have a whole bunch of information that we're trying to communicate, but the filter that is really controlling all of this is our region filter. So now by clicking through, you can see exactly what region is going on. Um, I guess you could always like put this in a single title for a dashboard, which is what I'll show you in the next little example, but you can also work it into individual titles for worksheets. So to do that, you would make sure that the filter is applied to that particular worksheet. You would double click on the title and then any field in Tableau that's like in the chevrons means that you're actually referencing the value of the field itself. So you would do that by clicking this little insert button. And then, I mean, look how much stuff you can insert, parameters, she, um, actual fields, calculated fields. So we're gonna input this region field, and that means it's going to refer to the actual region. So there's our central region. Very nice. Now, the one little downside is that, suppose we swap this to a multiple values list, okay? And I uncheck central. Well, now it says east, south, west. So region, east, south, west. If I click central again, it says central, east, south, and one more. That's a very convoluted heading title, right? And especially, I mean, you can imagine if you're dealing with products or orders or something where you have thousands of these things, this is not a nice <laughs> a bit of information to convey. So what you want to say instead is like, when you've selected one product or one region or one order, tell me what it is. If I've selected more than one, tell me multiple, just say multiple products, multiple orders. And if I've selected all, say all. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to build a calculated field to run that out like this. So currently this is saying, you know, this is just an example of a single title for the dashboard. How did we perform across all categories? We're going to uncheck one of these and now you can see how did we perform across multiple categories and if we uncheck another it says how did we perform across the technology category so that's awesome that's fantastic that's what we're going to do i'll talk you through it now but if you need any tableau help why not book an office hour for with us uh the link is below it'll pop up now but we try and make ourselves available to solve your problems as soon as possible and that can be anything from a single hour working through a problem to a whole bunch of uh, technical issues that you want to work through. We're here and we uh, hope to make ourselves available to help. Okay, so let me show you how to do this. This might seem a little bit weird, but this title is actually its own worksheet. And it's its own worksheet because I wanted to drop this little calculated field in here and it works particularly well when it's on text. So this calculated field looks something like this. Now, you can basically just copy and paste the syntax and, and work it into your particular example. But um, there are three lines here. This first one is looking at what to do when there's one category. The second one is what to do if there are all the categories. And then we've just put, sort of put this catch all for multiple categories. So the basic logic here is to say, hey, if our minimum category is our maximum category, then return the minimum category. You wanted to say something like, hey, if the number of categories in the field is one, basically. You know, if category equals category, tell me what that particular category is. So it's not just saying if the category is one, show me the category. It's saying if there's one category in the field, show me that category. So the aggregations are a little bit of a workaround. They don't, they're not material here. They just allow us to sort of work this logic in without making Tableau freak out. Then I just worked in a little bit of, you know, string magic before and after this uh, result. So at least it's going to say the space furniture plus space category. So it'll, I can work this into a nice English sentence in here. Then the next line, if the count distinctive category, so that's if the number of categories in the view is equal to the count distinct of category in the whole data set. So anything in the curly braces is going to be uh, referring to how that data is aggregated at a data source level. And I think we chatted about this in a video that we did a while back on fixed LODs. I'll try to link that below. But the idea here is that you can, you're wanting to try and find out how many categories do you have overall in the whole data source. And if the number of categories in the view equals the number of categories in the data source, 
then obviously we've selected all our categories so you can return that. And if it's not the first option and it's not the second option, it has to be multiple categories. And that's really that. Then we pop it into our title. That's what it looks like. So how do we perform across uh, you know, our category title? It's centered and was there anything else? We could do this if we wanted to center and middle align its entire view and we do the same thing. Click on this worksheet, make an entire view. Why is this preferable to having a title in? Well, titles are a little more brittle than having an actual worksheet. And what I mean is it's harder to reference fields and titles, uh, you know, in an actual dashboard title. So if you're wanting your dashboard title to be dynamic, sometimes you can run into some issues doing that. So I find myself moving to an actual worksheet a little bit more often. I don't think it changes things too much, but it does allow me to work more filters in, get some more, you know, dynamic titles. Um, and maybe we can chat about that a little bit more. All right, hope that helps. If there are any other questions, pop them in the uh, discussion below and I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as we can. And if you need a little bit more targeted help, why not book an office hour? Awesome, thanks for joining, see you next time.